How's it going, boys? My name is Kojak, and for the last three summers, I've been working for my dad's logging company, saving up money for my first truck. And boys, I finally got to pick it up from the dealership. I'm super stoked. It's an 07 2500 Silverado, and it's going to be perfect for hauling logs. It's not too new, so we're not worried about scratching it, but it's new enough that we have plenty of capability. So guys, now that I have some experience logging, I'm going to actually try to make it in the logging business with nothing more than a chainsaw, some land, and a pickup truck. But boys, this is going to be make it or break it. All I've got is a gas in my tanks. I'm flat broke, and I'm literally going to be living out of that tent. That being said, I do have experience logging and the most important thing, land with lots and lots of trees on it. My grandfather actually left me this land when he passed away a few years ago and my dream has always been to build a little cabin here next to the pond because, you know, I grew up here fishing with them and whatnot. But I'm not going to be able to get that done sitting here talking. So boys, I think it's time to get to work because we got trees to chop. All right, I think this will be the perfect spot to start clearing trees because we are going to need a clear driveway right up to the campsite. I think these spruce trees look nice and I don't want to cut down all the trees on the property so it's barren as fuck. So I'm going to try to leave those. These pine trees, on the other hand, keep dripping sap on my truck. So they're going first. Now let's just hope it doesn't fall on my nice new truck. Well, new to me. Timber. There we go, boys. Perfect. Truck safe. And now let's just deal in this tree. Chop the tip. And just like that, now we're ready to chop this bad boy up into some logs. And obviously, since we don't have any heavy equipment, we do want to chop it up into small enough pieces that we can easily load it into the back of the truck. Now when I say easily, obviously this is very demanding labor, but anyways, eventually we'll get some heavy equipment, but you know, we gotta start somewhere. And there we go, we got a big tree fully chopped up, now we can start loading this bad boy into the back of the truck. My first priority is getting something better to live in. I haven't even spent one night in that tent, but I can guarantee you it's going to be fucking horrendous long term. Now, I do want some heavy equipment to make the job easier and more profitable, but at the end of the day, I need something better to live in pronto. You guys already know that my dream is to build a cabin out here, but at the end of the day, winter's not too far away and cabins take time to build. So we're probably going to have to buy something a little bit more short term just to get through the winter. But who knows, if we're really successful logging, we might even be able to get a cabin as soon as next year. Fortunately, the lumber prices are really good these days, so that'll help us get started. And it will take a really long time, but once we have enough money saved up to get some actual heavy equipment, then we can go from just a guy chopping logs really to an actual log company making serious money. Well, that's a dream at least. But it's obviously not going to be a walk in the park. We've got a lot of acres to chop down before we're anywhere near being able to afford all that. There we go, boys. First tree chopped and loaded. It is sticking up right there. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, I know I should really load it better, but I don't want to stress it too much until we're dealing with proper logs. These little log chunks and limbs are honestly a pain in the ass to load. It's also just exhausting trying to move these logs by hand. And at the end of the day, we're really limited by how much we can accomplish just because of how fatiguing it is to manually load logs. But we'll get like a little tractor or small crane or something before too long. But anyways, we've still got room in the bed of the truck. So let's go ahead and chop down another tree. This one right here looks good. Oh shit, I need to get out of the way. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting fall right there. You guys know the drill, let's deal in this bad boy. Oh yeah, boys, we're making short work of this tree. Let's go ahead and chop this bad boy up, and then we can make a trip to the lumber mill and get our first cell run done. That is, if this thing will stop moving. There we go, that's the last cut. Now let's start loading it up. Well, we're definitely running out of room, but mainly just because how bad we packed it. It might not look that hard to you guys, but this is exhausting. The logs are way heavier than they look, and honestly, it just adds up. I mean, shit, I'm basically doing 100 pound cleaning presses over and over, so I don't think we're going to have to work out today. And honestly, I'm probably going to have to stop after this load, because if I don't stop now, tomorrow, we're going to have to take the whole day off, so... There we go, boys. It was definitely a tight fit, but we got two trees loaded into the truck. So now let's just strap this shit down and head to the lumber mill. I know, I know. It's a little bit jake on the strap down job, but I'll try to take it at least somewhat slow and hopefully we don't have any problems. 
while we're headed to the lumber mill, let me give you guys a better idea of the area. So this is currently my temporary driveway. I want to be going down to the left, not the steep ass hill, but we obviously got to get all those trees cleared out before we can have an actual proper driveway. And that's going to take time, but let me slow the fuck down before I wind up losing all these logs. Now this railroad crossing right here is actually one of the three entrances to my property. And as you guys can see, I've got a freaking gas station right next to my land. And it's honestly a big deal, especially in the future once we get like heavy equipment and stuff. Having the gas station right there is going to be a major advantage. It's really going to help out our efficiency. And I mean, think about it, boys. We don't even have to worry about buying an expensive fuel tank trailer or a fuel tanker. I mean, we should honestly be able to just get away with a reasonable sized tank in the back of the truck. I mean, the gas station's right there. Right there. Uh, what the fuck did you just say? Right there. Boys, check it out. This is the lumber mill, and I mean, just look at it. They've got a massive operation, and fortunately, this isn't too terribly far from my property. Now, this isn't actually the only sawmill in town, and it's not even the closest to my property, but it is the biggest and baddest operation in town, and therefore, they pay the most. So, obviously, we gotta go here, because right now, we need all the profits that we can get. Here we go, boys. First sell run. Let's see how much money we're gonna make. 2087 boys that is what i'm fucking talking about that is one day's worth of work two grand hell yeah boys i can get used to two grand a day and if we can keep this up it's just a matter of time before i got a big dog sawmill just like these guys dudes i am super stoked this is a hell of a confidence booster i'm definitely not gonna have to do the walk of shame back home to mom with dad i mean i think i got this as long as something crazy happens i don't see how we're not gonna make it in the logging business well, boys, I wasn't looking to spend any money today, but I have a really hard time passing up a good deal. And while I was headed back to camp, I found a damn good deal. Check it out, boys. I know it might not look like much, but this bad boy only cost $1,000. And finding trailers for that cheap is impossible, especially in this economy. Now, the reason that it is so cheap is because it is handmade. But honestly, I don't think it really matters because even if it breaks down in like a fucking month, I think I'll still be able to get my money's worth out of it because it literally doubles our log capacity. And once again, it was only a thousand dollars. And I'm super lucky that I managed to pick this bad boy up before somebody else did. I mean, you guys know how quick this thing would have sold in this economy. So yeah, I'm really grateful to the local farmer that built and sold me this bad boy. And I went ahead and gave my number and told him if he builds anything else to call me first. And you know, it might not be something I need, but I'm not trying to miss out on a good deal, boys. I mean, shit, I might even be able to flip it for as cheap as he's selling stuff. But anyways, I'm going to head back to camp and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, guys, it's the next day and it's a beautiful foggy morning. I'm feeling super well rested, but I want to try out the new trailer today. So I'm just going to get straight into chopping down trees because it's going to take a lot to fill that bad boy up. And boys, this tall one right here looks like a good one to start with to me. Well, guys, it's been 30 minutes and I'm finally down to the last log. I'm definitely sore from yesterday, but I'm working through it. There's still a ton of space left, and I'm trying to pack it a lot more neat this time, so hopefully we're able to make even more than double our first run. I just got done loading up the second tree, and it is really starting to look substantial. My packing, on the other hand, has quickly gone from neat to messy. It is what it is. At the end of the day, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to make it there. But enough talking. Let's go fly through another tree. Here we go, boys. Tree number three. Timber. Another tree down, and we're starting to run out of space. I'm definitely going to have to reorganize all these logs on the tailgate. Probably even want to close the tailgate. But other than that, it looks like we might even be able to fit another tree. So let's go chop one down. I want to cut down this tree, but it's super close to my tent and truck, and I definitely can't afford to lose my truck. I'm dumb, though, so I'm just going to do it anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Moment of truth. There we go. That's exactly where I wanted it to fall. It looks like the tent and truck are going to be safe for today. It was a lot of work, but I'm finally done loading all the logs. Boys, come check it out. As you guys can see, I loaded it to the absolute max. There was only like three little logs I couldn't fit in the load, but that's not bad at all. This is definitely going to be a really good test for the trailer. Hopefully it makes it there and back, but we got to find out one way or another. Now, the pickup bed was a pain in the ass to load, but I got it done the best I could. All right, boys, let's head out. 
I'm nervous to drive down this hill with how top heavy this rig is. I really shouldn't have stacked it this high. Oh, oh, it looked like it was about to flip over. Boys, I was actually trying to go slow back there, but I really underestimated how much of the weight going downhill was going to affect me. Oh, it's wobbling. All right, all right, we're good. I might have taken that corner just a little bit too fast. I've only had the truck for a couple days, but so far I really like it. The suspension seems to be handling the payload fine, and there's certainly no lack in engine power. It is tippy, but obviously that's not the truck's fault, and honestly, I'm mostly having issues with the trailer. Obviously, just because I stacked it so high though. And I need to show you guys around town sometime. There's actually a lot of businesses out here with a lot of business opportunity for us, especially for it being such a small town. But I'll do that another time. Well, I could go ahead and show you guys after I sell the lumber. Here we go, boys. What are we gonna get? 7,800 bucks, holy shit. I think that's like more than double what we got the first time. Yeah, we got like 22, 2,400 bucks the first time. It's back breaking work loading and moving around logs, but boys, at $7,600 for one day's work, damn is it rewarding. I know I damn sure didn't make that much when I was working for my dad's logging company. I'll probably catch you guys in a week because I need to take a couple days off. My muscles are so sore. If I don't, I'm probably going to wind up getting injured. And I'm just going to keep chopping down the trees in the way of the driveway. And like I said, I'll catch you guys next week. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you guys around town. So like I was saying before, there's lots and lots of businesses in town. And obviously these businesses need supplies to make their products. Like right there, that's a barrel factory and they need wood to make barrels. So obviously if we want to, at some point we can start selling them wood. But they're not the only place in town that's willing to pay for good wood either. There's also the furniture store, the woodworking store, your sister. <laughs> but those aren't the only businesses that need supplies either. There's also restaurants and clothing stores, you know, yada yada, whatever you can really think of in a normal town. And so if we want to expand outside of logging and start making produce or cotton or whatever, we can do that as well. But obviously, we're not quite far enough along to get started on any of that quite yet. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to head to camp and I'll catch up with you guys in a week. What's up, boys? It's been about a week and I've chopped down like 15 trees. It took two trips to the lumber mill and I made a whopping 20 grand. So yeah, needless to say, I've been working hard, trying to clear all these trees out from around the campsite, you know, just so we have more room to work, load up logs and whatnot. And obviously the driveway, we've got the lead up right here, clear it out. And of course the driveway itself, we've worked all the way down, clearing out all the trees, except for obviously the bushes and whatnot. We'll worry about those later. Obviously we need to take out these stumps as well. And you guys already know, I don't want to get rid of the spruce trees, so we're going to leave those. I mean, there's not really any point in chopping them down. As you guys can see, it's really steep right there. We don't want to drive up that way anyways. So we're going to go up this direction. As you can see, it's got a nice more gradual incline all the way up. Obviously, we need to clear all these stumps and bushes out of the way. So I think I'm just going to have to lease some heavy equipment. But before we do that, I want to clear out the property a little bit more. There's these dead trees all over the place. They're ugly as shit and they're not worth any money. And it's barely even good for firewood. So let's just take them out. They're making the pond look ugly. All these bushes are preventing you from even being able to see the pond. So we'll get the bushwhacker out here, take all the dead wood stumps out and bushes, obviously, and have a nice clear driveway as well. All right, guys, I'm going to move my truck out of the way so it doesn't get crushed. And then I guess we'll start with that tree right there. There we go. Truck's out of the way. Now let's start chopping down some dead trees, boys. All right, here we go. Dead tree number one. Timber. There we go. All right, I'm not going to chop it up quite yet. I just kind of feel like going around and chopping down dead trees, and then we'll chop them up in a minute. Now, which one is next? Yeah, that's one right here. Let's take it out. Yep, there we go. Another tree bites the dust. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to come at me for a second. All right, we got one right here. Nice and convenient. Let's go ahead and take it out, and hopefully it doesn't try to take us out like the previous one did. Timber. Oh, it definitely bounced up, but it didn't come at us. All right, let's get out of here before it starts rolling down on top of us. And let's start clearing out the trees around the pond. They're absolutely ugly as fuck, and it's cluttering the snow. Oh, shit, deer. 
ran right fucking past me. Anyways, let's chop down this tree, and unfortunately, it's right next to the pond, and it's leaning towards the pond. So let's try to chop it so it doesn't fall in, because that would be a pain in the ass to get out. Yeah, there we go. You know you're a real logger when you know how to defy physics, okay? Okay? Ladies, you can call me Mr. Lumberjack, okay? Alright, <laughs> enough of the cringe. Let's get back to work. Alright, okay, so we've got another tough one, but I'm basically like a lumber god, so... I got this. This is easy work for Mr. Lumberjack, okay? Alright, here we go. Time for some magic. Oh. Right after I did that last one so perfect. Really? Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be a lot of fun getting that off. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's definitely gonna slide into the water. Alright, well, here we go. Tree number five or so. Okay, okay. See? I still got it, motherfuckers. I still got it. Okay, it looks like we got all the dead trees cleared out from around the pond. Now let's just double check the campground, make sure there's no more scragglers over here, and then we should be good. Yep, dead tree right here. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. Of course, there are a lot more dead trees on the property, but obviously we're just worried about the ones in our immediate area, and then we'll, you know, work our way out gradually. Honestly, I think that's it, but let me run around the property real quick and double check. Oh, there's one right next to me, boys. I might have to get my eyes checked. All right, let's chop this tree down, and then honestly, I'm gonna have to look through the campground a lot more thoroughly because I do not want to miss any dead trees because tomorrow we're gonna be leasing the tractor and bushwhacker, and it's gonna cost us a lot of money to lease it, so we sure as hell can't waste it. All right, it looks like the campground is cleared of dead trees, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up, and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Guys, it's about 4 p.m., and I just got done loading the last log on the pile, and boys, check. Oh, we got a train coming. Now, boys, the cool thing about this train is that you can actually use it to transport logs and various other goods to different regions. And the reason you might want to do that is because different locations have different values on what you're trying to sell. So in some cases, you could transport it to a different region and make substantially more money than you would in your own region. But anyways, what I wound up doing is delimiting and chopping up the dead trees and then rolling them down this steep hill, which saved me a lot of time and effort. And it allowed me to stack them up nice and neat without breaking my back. I mean, it was a lot of work, but I saved a lot of energy. I was planning on stacking the logs up here at the campground, but realistically I need room for the truck to get in and out, hauling logs, and honestly there's not really that much flat ground either. So yeah, I just stacked them up down there and I'll figure out what to do with them later. I also noticed that these little bushes right here are blocking this tree, I didn't even see it. It's a little dogwood so we need to take that out. There's also another one right here and a third one over there. So let's go ahead and chop this one down and then we'll take out the other two. I wasn't planning on chopping down any more trees today, but obviously I didn't see these and I called the tractor company today and it's going to be four grand to rent the equipment. I was able to find some skid steers and skid steer mulchers, so that's a lot better than renting a big ass tractor, so that'll save us some money, but still, four grand's a lot of money just for one day to take out some stumps and bushes. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just work for the rest of the day so I'm as prepared as I can be tomorrow and just make it as financially worthwhile as possible. I'm also just wanting to see if I can make a sell run to the lumber mill because if I can make four grand today, I'll feel a lot better about spending four grand tomorrow the only issue with that though is it's already after 4 p.m so there might just not be enough time left in the day but i'm sure as hell gonna try though so let's go ahead and take out this little dogwood tree right here there we go little tree down all right and now let's just deal in this little dogwood tree now dealing in the trees is a little bit tedious but it's just part of the job so let's just get it done and then we can take it to camp and start the pile of processed trees And last limb chop, there we go. Now let's just take it to camp. Um, where should I start the stack? Let's see. Yeah, right over here in this nice clearing, that'll be perfect. Oh, it's still got some little limbs on it. Let's go ahead and chop those off because that'll be a pain in the ass once we're trying to load it into the back of the truck. 
There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the three dogwoods from earlier, and then I'll catch back with y'all. All right, guys. I just got done processing the last dogwood. It's a nice little pile, but I don't think we're going to be able to make five grand off of some dogwood trees. So let's go ahead, head over here next to the pond, start clearing out the big trees over here. That way, we can make some actual money. Tomorrow, I want to be able to clear out the bushes that are over here, and that'll be easier if we get some of these trees cleared out. Let's start with this one since it's at the front. Here we go, first big tree of the day. Well, except for those worthless dead trees. Oh shit, that fell right towards my tent. Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. There was plenty of room. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and chop down enough trees to fill up the truck and trailer, and once I'm done loading them up, I'll show you guys, and then we'll head to the lumber mill. Well, it's been a few hours, and as you guys can see, I chopped down a decent amount of trees, and in fact, I chopped down too many. We got the truck completely loaded, and we still got a lot of lumber, tons of Fitbits, and I didn't even get to the saplings. I've got to have all this extra lumber out of the way in time for tomorrow so that I can actually get to the stumps and bushes. So I'm going to try to hurry up, get this to the lumber mill, sell it real quick, and then hopefully I have enough time to get back, reload it, get back to the lumber mill before they lock the gates, sell it real quick, and then hopefully get a good night's rest because i've got a big day ahead of me tomorrow so yeah let's get the fuck out of here with the quickness because that sun is going down really fast here we are at the lumber mill let's be quick about it though because we do not have time to fuck around whatsoever here we go boys let's see how much money we're gonna make $6,820, that's not bad at all. We only need five grand tomorrow, and I wasn't really planning on making all this money today, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I've been saving up for a big item, and after these sell runs today, we should be well on our way to actually going and picking it up. In fact, it should only be a few more days. Well, it's getting dark quick, and we need to save ourselves some time, so let's put the pedal to the metal and try not to get caught. Oh, there's no way he stopped that. Oh, my fucking God. And that's why you don't speed, kids. Anyways, let's see how fast this thing can go, huh? Looks like it tops out at 87. That's not bad at all for a Silverado with a trailer attached. All right, I just got back to camp, and I'm going to load these logs as quickly as I possibly can, and then hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the lumber mill in time before they lock the gate. I just got done loading and strapping everything down and I mean check it out it's a lot more substantial than I thought it was you can see here in the back of the truck we got all the fid bits and little branches yeah it didn't look like much on the ground but you can see for yourself let's go ahead and get out of here though and hopefully we'll make it there in time we're definitely cutting it close so I don't know we'll see oh yeah we definitely cut it close there's literally three minutes till they lock the gate but hey we got here nonetheless but let's make it quick so that we can get out of these guys hair because I know they're ready to get home to their families and have dinner here we go. Let's see how much this trip was worth. $3,000. That is nearly half what we made the last time. Not bad at all. Good night's work. Now I'm going to head back to camp, get some rest. And I'll catch back with you guys tomorrow. Well, it's the big day, boys. I just got done taking delivery of the skid steer and mulcher. And check it out, boys. This unit is fresh. I mean, I didn't expect something this new, boys. This thing's barely even been used. Oh, let me turn on my flashlight so you guys can actually see it. Check out this mulcher, boys. This thing looks like it'll take out anything we throw at. Bushes, stumps, no problem. And it's even got forestry cages so that if any trees or limbs fall on us while we're working, we'll be super safe in the cab. And on top of that, we got tracks instead of wheels, so we'll hopefully have plenty of traction while we're going up and down these steep hills. Now, this will be my first time actually driving one of these things, and we've got some pretty steep hills in certain areas, so hopefully we don't roll it over. The last thing I want to do is have to buy this thing because I broke it. But enough of all that, boys. Check out this interior. We've got air conditioning, radio, boys. We are going to be working in luxury, bumping tunes, and staying cool. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part, boys. It costs under four grand, which is still a lot, but I thought it was going to be five Gs, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, guys, let's turn on the mulcher and get to work. I'm going to be clearing out everything along the driveway, even the small bushes, because obviously we got to drive through here. And once I'm completely finished clearing out the driveway, the only thing I'm going to worry about then are the stumps and big bushes, because obviously those get in the way when we're logging. But the little bushes, we don't really need to worry about those. Well, we took out some small bushes with ease, but we expected that. Now, let's throw this thing up against some big bushes and see how it does. Oh, ho, ho. it went right through that. I did not expect that to be so quick. 
But we've got a massive stump right here, which should be a lot harder to go. Absolutely easy. Smoke through that stump like butter. No problem whatsoever. Look at us. We're just, wait, wait. We're having issues. Nope, I just had to tilt it. We're good, we're good. Operator's error on that one. Oh yeah, we're going straight through these stumps. I don't think this is gonna be as long of a day's work as I thought. And this is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. I mean, it's just so easy and quick. It's hella satisfying just cutting these down instantaneously. I think that's the last little bush. And once we come over here and chop down this big bush and then those two little stumps, we should be done with the driveway. Well, not done with the driveway, but done clearing it out. And I'm even thinking about paying some guys to come out tomorrow and lay gravel along the driveway and maybe even level out the foot of it because it is a little rough down there. All right, let's go ahead and take out this big bush and then we should be done. Yeah, it looks pretty clear, but let me go ahead and park this up and then double check. All right, so the driveway is gonna go straight down this hill, the most level route, and it looks like we don't have a thing left to cut down, so we're good to go. Let's move on to the next section. Here we go, boys. Let's get this campground cleared out of all stumps and big bushes. Let's get it. boys it looks like we've got the campground completely cleared out but let's take an extra look yep it looks clear to me now let's just go over to the other side of the stream and get to work guys let me show you what we got done you already know we started at the campground worked our way over across the creek where i did a lot of clearing and worked my way all the way up here to above the pond and now we're gonna work our way over there let's get it
Boys, I am absolutely smoking through all these bushes and stumps. It is going way quicker than I thought it would, and honestly, it's a hell of a lot more fun than I thought it would be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew it was going to be fun trying out this heavy equipment and all, but I had no idea it was going to be this damn effective. I mean, it's like the stumps aren't even there. I've got music going, air conditioners on, and it's not even 8 o'clock, and I've already gotten so much done. So needless to say, it's been an easy day's work and a fun one at that but I still spent four grand on this thing for the day so I need to get a lot more done I think what I'm gonna do is run around the property chopping down every bush I see and try to make sure I didn't miss any stumps and once I'm all done at the end of the day I'll catch back up with you guys well guys it's been a long day but I got a lot of work done I had so much time left in the day that I wound up chopping down a lot of the small bushes just to clean the place up get it looking nice and I'm really excited to show you guys how it looks I think it looks a lot better better to be honest but it's pitch black so you guys will have to wait till tomorrow i also went ahead and paid the gravel guys it was about twenty five hundred dollars and they're gonna be here in the morning to lay gravel as well as level out the foot of the driveway so i'm really excited for that it'll definitely be awesome to have an actual driveway for once but what i'm even more excited about is tomorrow boys i am finally gonna be getting out of this tent so it's gonna be a big day and i'll catch you guys in the morning Good morning everybody, it is the big day. Not only have I packed up the tent, but we've got a brand spanking new driveway. Check it out. They just got done laying the last bit of gravel and boys, I think the driveway looks great. It's gonna make a big difference around here. Getting in and out is gonna be so much easier. But boys, I'm ready to finally show you guys the reason we actually built this driveway. So let's go get it. So boys, you already know, I've been sleeping in that tent every night for way too long. And I've been looking for an upgrade that whole time. And now that I've actually got a substantial amount of money saved up, I think it's time to finally go pick something up. I've been in the market for a travel trailer. I think that's the perfect upgrade from where we're at now. But the prices have just been so jacked up that I haven't been able to find anything that I was happy with. Until a few days ago when my dad gave me a call to let me know that his buddy has a camper for sale. And, you know, since they're friends, he was willing to give me a good deal on it. So I went ahead and hopped in my truck and went over there to go check it out and honestly the trailer looked absolutely great and it even came with a fifth wheel dolly which is perfect because obviously I don't have a fifth wheel and I'm not really looking to try to buy one right now either and on top of all that he was willing to work with me on the price which was really nice of him what we're going to be doing is 25,000 now and then another 7,000 later so it's going to be 32 grand for the travel trailer and honestly it's a great deal in this economy oh you know what I completely forgot to show you guys all the work I got done yesterday. Uh, I guess I'll just have to show you guys when we get back to camp then. Alright boys, we're almost there. Oh, no peeking, no peeking. We're almost there. Just hold on one more second. And here it is boys. Check it out. It's a 2020 gooseneck trailer that's barely even been used. Super clean and there's the big dolly that came with it. It's got slide outs, beautiful mountain scenery on the side. It's got a triple axle set up to be able to handle all this weight of this massive trailer. I mean, just look at it. This is a beautiful trailer. After a week and a half of sleeping in a tent, boys, I am stoked to get this thing. I'm going to go ahead and pay the man and then hook up to the trailer hitch because I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to see this bad boy next to the pond. All right, boys, I just got done paying the man and hooking up to the trailer hitch and I'm ready to get back to the property. So let's go. All right, we're at the turn. Let's see if we can make it with this massive trailer. Let me slow way down. Oh, I definitely didn't take that wide enough. <laughs> My gosh, this thing is just such a beast to tow. It's definitely by far the biggest thing I've ever towed. No question about that at all. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to go up ahead and do a U-turn because there's no way I'm gonna take this massive trailer up the driveway at this angle. All right, let's slow way down and try to make this turn as carefully as we can oh this drive up is definitely a lot more intimidating with this massive trailer oh i definitely scraped the roof of the trailer on those limbs i completely forgot to trim those ah man this is a big trailer for such a steep hill we got it up the hill though 
There we go, boys. That's what I'm fucking talking about. It feels so good to finally get something like this and get it pulled in onto the property. Now you guys can finally see it in all its glory with the slide outs out in its element right next to the pond and damn does it look good. Also just check out the land boys. I've got it all cleared out looking nice and clean now that we've got the trailer. I'm super stoked with how things turned out boys and I can't wait for the next chapter. And that is it for episode 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please show your support by liking and subscribing and stay in tune for episode 2. Later.